We have some hysterical and, I would argue, prejudiced people who are engaged in all what you see going on around the country. It's, a, it's an appeal to fear, and it's an appeal that is totally, thoroughly unjustified and ugly. These are our kids. These are our neighbors. It's cruel. What's cruel and monstrous, President Biden, is what's happening to parents across the country, especially in liberal-run states. A new bill in Governor J.B. Pritzker's Illinois would change the definition of what constitutes an abused child to include anyone under the age of 18 whose parents object to abortions or so-called gender-affirming care, like puberty blockers. Now, by changing the definition, HB 4876, then empowers the state to remove your child from your home unless you submit to their warped agenda, where your son becomes your daughter, your daughter becomes your son. You get it. Joining me now is Jeanette Cooper, an Illinois mom who lost custody of her 12-year-old in 2019 after refusing to affirm her new gender identity. Jeanette, um, you've been warning about this for some time. What's your new warning tonight about this bill in particular? This bill absolutely has it backwards. We know what abuse is. People know what abuse is. We know what an abused child is. The standard in the statute says quite clearly that an abused child is someone whose parent or guardian has inflicted permanent damage to their bodily function. That's exactly what gender medicine does. It inflicts permanent damage, permanent harm on a child. Removing a child's breasts is permanent damage to their body. That is child abuse. Ironically, Jeanette, it's still considered abuse uh, in Illinois law to subject your child to female genital mutilation. Um, and that's a practice um, that some um, immigrants, you know, still you know, prefer for their daughters. But this legislation would essentially criminalize a parent's refusal to deny access to the same type of mutilation just by another name. So you live in, you live in Illinois. Do you think this bill, as currently written, changing this definition of abuse, to basically make a lot of Christian families, you know, abusive by definition, that th does this have a real shot at becoming law? No, absolutely not. I mean, the, the citizens of Illinois are not going to stand for something like this. They they don't agree with the concept of, of gender identity. Absolutely not. I mean, Chicago is not the entire state. There's an entire state in Illinois, and they don't believe in such a concept of gender identity, and they certainly don't believe we should be abusing children with gender medicine. What's interesting is you talked about FGM, female genital mutilation, and in that statute, it says quite clearly that a parent who consents to this in a child who consents to this, they are not the ones responsible. The people who are responsible are the doctors who perform this, the individuals who perform this on them. Those are the people who should be held to account. Those are the people who should be taken to the legal mm -hmm. system so that, so that people can get justice for what was done to them by the hospitals here in Illinois and elsewhere in this country. Yeah, the hospital should be sued and the doctors should be uh, never be able to touch another human being again. Jeanette, um, what's the latest on your own situation? When was the last time uh, you were able to see your daughter? I, I still haven't seen my daughter. I haven't seen her in um, two and a half years now. Um, but by all accounts, I, I think she's doing the same thing that I'm doing, which is making lemonade out of lemons. Um, you know, the separation from your biological mother is a, is a trauma to, to mom, me, and it's a trauma to my child. Um, but we're both quite resilient people, and I think we're doing the best that we can. Uh, I think her perspective um, will change over time, just like everybody's does. And, and on this bill in particular, I hope the representative who introduced this bill will change her perspective also. I think that will happen. Well, Jeanette, I think a lot of people are waking up. Your story is one of the reasons why. Thank you for sharing it again and your perspective on all this. Good luck with your fight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.